It is. Uh, one more quick question um, about Jude. Um, when he mentions Enoch, uh, I, this has always kind of confused me. He, he meant, uh, I, I haven't read the book of Enoch all the way through because I don't think it's... Uh, it's a complete fraud. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it should be held up to the level of Scripture in any way or even close. But uh, it does quote sort of directly from that book, and I just wondered what your take on it was. That My take on it is that it's not quoting from that book at all, but that rather it's quoting the person Enoch. It doesn't say, as it is written in the book of Enoch, it says, Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these saying, and it tells what Enoch right. said. So just because Jude says what Enoch said doesn't mean it's quoting the fraudulent book of Enoch. Here are some reasons why the book of Enoch is a fraud. Number one, read it for about five minutes and you, you're going to realize how stupid it is, number one. Number two, you know, and, and God doesn't write stupid things. Number two is that, you know, the book of Enoch only came to light in the last, what, I, I think it came about in the 1800s in Amharic, and then it came about in the original Hebrew, like, in the 20th century with the Dead Sea Scrolls or something. So, yeah, it, yeah, it came up with well, God promised to preserve his word. And that, you know, it, that it would be preserved unto all generations. And, you know, I don't see the Book of Enoch being preserved. Why was it buried yeah, for it so long? It reminds me of one of your sermons where it said, you know, why would God leave his word buried for, you know, exactly. thousands of years? And then, so. you know, on top of that is that fact that it's filled with all kinds of garbage and nonsense and, and it contradicts scripture and it was buried yeah, for, I, and it was, it's very suspect because it's found with it, the it, Dead it, Sea it, Scrolls. I've not read it myself because I, you know, I, I stick with the King James Bible, but yeah, um, I just think I just thought that it was interesting that Jude sort of quoted that. And but see, Jude anything. did not quote it at all because this is what it is: which came first, the chicken or the egg? Somebody took the quote from Jude and put it into a book and put a bunch of other junk in it. And people will try to argue and say that it that it predates the Book of Jude. I'm not buying it. It's a fraud. These are the same people that are telling you that you know, billions of years ago and stuff. And so oh, yeah, the yeah. whole thing's a fraud. It's like anytime the Bible mentions something like that, like the epistle to the Laodiceans, somebody's going to go out and write an epistle to the Laodicea and, and try to pass it off. And that's the same thing here, that they took the quote that was legitimate from Enoch and then they made a fake book around it. Absolutely. And, and you've been a blessing in my life. I just want to say, Pastor Anderson, I mean, I was I, 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 I was saved and I went through some trouble in my life and I found you on the internet. And I live in rural Kentucky, a very small town. At least, you know, we have churches on every corner, which is great. Um, you know, different, you know, denominations and stuff like that. But you've really got me back into the fold, I guess you could say, and, and wanted to do work for the Lord. And, uh, and yeah, uh, look into the numbers 2-9. I think that's an amazing thing, just that the speed of light was predicted 6,000 years beforehand. And it's, also that the running water, you, I heard you talk about the running water in the surgeons one time in one of your sermons, and, you know, the Bible had it right 6,000 years ago. It's fascinating stuff, but it's stuff that a lot of atheists are just, they're too blinded, you know, but the Christians, will, the, the Christians are going to love it. Hey, God bless you. Thanks for the call.